Hi you guys, Stephanie here. Um, I'm here again today to work on this little golden book journal. I don't know what is wrong with me today, but I cannot seem to focus. And I, I did one short video and I've been trying to figure out <laughs> what to do in the book. And I don't know, I cannot seem to think straight. And so I've thumbed through it a little bit and I see some things that I can do without making any huge decisions because I don't know if I'm capable of that today for some reason. I just do not know what's wrong. I think that I'm at the point where I need to come up with tags and things like that. Um, and I think I've told you that that is the hardest part for me. And so I think that's why I'm having a hard time. But... Let's go ahead and do what I think I can do right now. Um, let's see here. All right, I ended up cutting the, the little white pom-poms off of this page because when the book was closed, it made it look really odd in that area. And so I decided to cut them off. I'll use them somewhere else at some point. And instead of that, I'm going to go ahead and use some more of this color lace along the edge. Um, I just, I think it goes really well, so I think it's going to work just fine. So we'll glue this down. Hope you guys are doing well today. I don't know how many more videos will be on this book. Maybe just this one and one more, I'm hoping. Um, if it, I can get my brain wrapped around it, I found a, a bunch of, um, you know, free image type things and I've been saving them. I just haven't printed them out yet. And then I'll go from there to figure out what, what goes in all of the pockets. I think that's what we'll do next. I'm going to have to be going out of town next week, so I don't know what will be done um, in my filming for you guys to be able to see. I'm hoping to be able to do a, a few short things so that you guys don't think I've fallen off the face of the earth. I have to go to a wedding down in Texas. And I'll be gone for almost a week. And so, but I mean, I think I can do a few things before that to, to fill in the time. I'm just going to put a little something underneath here so that that glue can dry, I think. Let's see. Maybe just like that. Okay. I left this, you know, blank here. I, I don't know why. I just felt like that's the way I wanted it. And I don't know if that was a good decision or not. But I have this washi tape that I like with this, the little quilt there. And so I thought I could just kind of line it so that they would tie in together just a little bit more. I'm going to put a little bit of glue down first because I really want that to stick. side pretty straight. Oh, let's see. I know not the easiest thing here. I hope the lighting is okay. It's in the afternoon and um you know, we've did the time change and all that, so my lighting's a little bit different than it has been. Kind of wondering if I should do some sort of trim. 
haven't used any of this white trim here. I don't know if it'll look good or odd. I don't know. It's kind of, it's thick, I think, for the area. I also have this. It's cute, but I don't know. For right now, we're going to, well, let's see. I've got one more thing I can look at over here. Oh, what's this? I don't know, it doesn't really go with the little tab over on the other side. That is cute though, but it doesn't go with this. I've moved everything now. Okay, I'm sorry, you guys have to bear with me, please. I try to clear my head. I don't know if it goes. Too many different colors. I mean, I don't mind that. What else do I have? I do have this one. We've used it a couple of times. I like it. I like that. It it goes, you know, with the like the frilly of the pillow and stuff. I think that's good. We'll do that. I've got washi stuck to my scissors. I ran back into Hobby Lobby today and I grabbed another thing of embossing powder. I was telling you guys about, you know, finding that they do still sell it there. And um, I was interested to see, because that was, you know, last week that I bought one. And I was interested to see if it was one of those items that, you know, goes on sale every other week. But it was not on sale. So, but that's okay, because I used my coupon. Okay, that's cute. And to kind of bring them together, I might put like a little white label here. So, but I don't know, we'll see. All right, I'm sure that one's dry enough, so I'm just gonna sit this over here to hold that page away from the Fabri-Tac. Okay, I sewed the signatures in, and I was leaving this um, as a file folder, but you know, you can't glue it together until you've sewn your signatures in. So we will go ahead and glue these. I uh, probably didn't need to go that far, did I? My glue's supposed to be going on the other side. I probably just got glue all over my shirt. Did you guys see that about to happen? It's like when I used to, you know, watch my kids when they were learning to feed themselves <laughs> They'd get, you know, it everywhere. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm doing right now. I just don't know what's wrong with my brain. I oh, cannot concentrate. When I was driving home from town earlier, I kept thinking, pay attention, Stephanie, pay attention. Okay, a little bit. I've gotten several um, new people subscribed to my channel lately. I appreciate it so, so much. I hope that um, you're enjoying the videos and that you stick around for more, especially after, you know, today. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen here. <laughs> so, um, I do really appreciate you guys coming around. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side with the washi. to make a straight edge. Hmm. This one's going to be a little harder because it's going, I want the 
their little ornaments and I want the ornaments going this direction. So I think I might have to cut it and then glue it down. Kind of do a guess on it. And then this one's a really wide one, so we need to kind of put glue all over. I don't want to have it too close to the the sewn in area so that it doesn't cause a problem, you know, for it flipping. Okay. And you know, I have this. It's just a small piece, but it covers up part of the the bottoms. I think I'm going to leave it just like that because I don't want to cover those. And I think it'll look silly if I go too far this way. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that one as it is. What else do we have? I really am liking the way this is turning out much better. I don't know what to put here. I really, really wish I could find things like this in red or green. And I imagine if I were, you know, looking online, I could find something. But um, I'm, I haven't. I didn't plan ahead enough. I can put this down, and whatever I put in, you know, would be a contrast to the. The paper, I suppose. I'm going to see, do I have anything I could poke in there just as a see how it would look sort of an idea. Let's see here. Well, let's just pretend that that was something colorful in there. I mean, I guess it works, right? I can just make sure I put something big enough that we see the white. Maybe we'll do that. Because the other option that I have is, really, I mean, I feel like the only other thing, wait, what's this? This might work. I think I'll do this. That works better for me, I think. So that I don't cause myself a little bit of a problem, I'm going to try and stick a piece of wax paper. I'm folding it over here, so hopefully it's not killing your guys' ears. I'm going to stick some wax paper under there, so I'm hoping that I don't get glue everywhere while it's drying. And then dry the or glue the pocket to the page. I think this will be good. I'm trying to decide what I want to make next. Um, you know, I had made those Halloween journals 
and I took them down to the shop that I sell my journals and they didn't sell. Um, she even had like an event and she said that the event didn't go well. She said people just are not buying things. And so I don't know. I mean, obviously people are out going to be spending, you know, more money um, for Christmas. But then, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know if I shouldn't make as many as I did last year. Um, it's a decision I'm going to have to make. Let's see. I'm just going to do that again. And so on this one, I could do the red Rick Rack since I've got a green tag in there. Let's see how that looks. Let's see, there's the red Rick Rack. And then again, the green. I like both of them. I like how the green blends really well, but I like how the red contrasts it. Hmm. I have some buttons somewhere. Guys, I've got um, a big old pile giant pile. I, I know I put those buttons somewhere where they wouldn't, they were open. <laughs> I put them somewhere where I thought they weren't going to spill. And now I'm going to spill while looking for them. Where on earth did they go? I have stuff everywhere, you guys. Hmm. Well, I think I do like the red. I'm trying to get this in there up in the corner in a good angle so that it can get as far as up in there as possible. It's kind of hard to know which way to cut to make that happen. Okay, I think that's good. Go ahead and put a line of glue there. I'm going to take my little CD envelope tag out so I don't get glue all over it. This is all glued down on this end anyway, so I'm not too concerned if some glue gets right there. had fun with the trick-or-treaters the other night. Today is Monday, so you know Halloween was Saturday, and the neighbors um, got together and had a little, I, I live in a cul-de-sac, and we had a fire pit in the middle of the cul-de-sac, so the kids just came and trick-or-treated around the the fire went to each, you know, each household was represented. So there were four, four households there um, sitting around the fire and they'd just come around and get candy. So that was fun. We didn't get, I don't think we got as many as normal, but we got some. So I'm glad people were out having fun. There is an area of town that they get the most trick-or-treaters every year. And um, I guess it lasts you know, this time it was no different. I guess they were just as busy as every, as, as every year. Good or bad, I don't know. I guess we'll find out if that was good or bad. But I feel like the way we did it was pretty good because we were outside and, um, you know, 
and and I was careful not to touch anybody's bag. Obviously, well, I had gloves on because it was cold. So, and I think I did good, I hope. But my, um, so I have naturally curly hair and naturally curly hair is very porous. And I don't know, maybe, maybe everybody's like this, but my hair absorbs odors like you would not believe. It is ridiculous. And whenever I'm, you know, at a campfire or something like that, I always just know that I'm going to be smelling my hair for days. So Sunday morning, I should have taken a shower when I came in on Saturday night, but I didn't want to. I was freezing cold, so I was just bundled up on the couch. A shower probably would have helped that. Um, okay, I like that. And if I find a green button at some point, I feel like I want to put like a little green button or something. But we'll see. I can always do that later. Um, but Sunday morning... I put my hair back in a braid so I couldn't smell it all night long. I did still smell some, um, but I washed my hair twice and I put lots of hair product in it to try and cover up. I could still smell it after two washes. So then um, this morning I thought, okay, well, I'll get rid of the smell this morning at least. The smell is still in there. It is crazy. I put a whole bunch of hair product in it again this morning, hoping, <laughs> hoping it would help. I don't know. Maybe it's just sealing it in. Okay, so this is the center of another signature. What I decided to do here, I, I did a big envelope with the envelope punch. And I was going to do it so that the envelope closed and like tucked under. But then I thought, I don't know. There was something about that that I didn't think I liked. So what I decided to do is I glued the flap down and then I'm just going to have it as a pocket this way instead of having it as an envelope. So we'll go ahead and glue, glue that closed. Wait, nope, I shouldn't have put glue right there. to think about maybe putting a tab right here. But I don't know what's going to be in it, so I don't know what color tab would look good. So maybe I won't do a tab yet. I don't know if when I did this, I did it on camera, but I feel like I've done most of this on camera. What what I did here was I made um, a pocket that opens so that there's lots of writing there. And then, you know, you put something in. And I was thinking to do a paper clip with, you know, some decorative fabric hanging off of it. Not sure if I have any fabric handy that I would like on it though. Hmm. Okay, well we're gonna keep that in mind. I'm gonna now I'm gonna leave it open so that I'll, I'll remember I need to do something there. On this part here, I don't think I showed it to you. I have just one of those paper punch um, edge decorative edge ones, but this is one that um, happens to cut the entire. Uh, ribbony looking thing out or lacy looking thing out and I just did it on both sides of that paper I don't know yet this needs something 
I think that's pretty. It kind of goes with the, the shape, doesn't it? Let me close it for a second. Yeah. I think we'll do that. I like that. I think that what we'll do is have it run just past the tuck spot. What did I do? There they are. So that I'm not cutting right in the middle of one of the cute little swirlies. We'll just have it run the whole distance, I think. I think that's pretty. One of the places that I will be when I'm down in Texas is in the Waco area. So it'll be interesting to see if I can see any of the Chip and Joanna Gaines things that they've done there. Um, you know, like, I don't know, anything that <laughs> that I saw on their show. If, you know, if you're from the U.S. and, and you watched Fixer Upper on HDTV, you'll know what I'm talking about. But, um... But I don't know how much of it is open right now. I really liked that show. But I think her stuff is really expensive, so I don't know. We'll see. What else? And maybe all I can do right now, except I have an idea on, okay. So um, it was suggested that I change, I'm gonna put something there to let it, you know, dry a little bit more. What else is in there? It's just the thickness of the paper and that. Hmm, maybe this one shouldn't go there. It's making it, I don't know, it's fine. Um. It was suggested that I change the, the outer fabric. And I agree. I think that that's a wonderful idea. Might as well give it a try. But I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna be able to replace it here. Um, because I don't want to have it be hard to open and close. And if I put another layer of fabric here, I'm afraid that it might. So I'm thinking I might leave it here and it, it goes with this, I think. I, I might do something to kind of break it up a little bit so there's not as much of it. We'll see. But for right now, I do have something of an idea for the outside. I'm gonna grab some pliers really quick. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to try and take this off. And I don't know how easy that's going to be. Oh, that's easy. As long as I don't jab my fingers. Sorry, my head's probably right in your way. I need a scalpel nurse. Okay. Just kind of bend them all back inward. scissors just fell. Let's see if I can get it out now.
Okay. So that's out. And I chose... Now remember, I only have so many options. So I just... I'm going with what I have. And I'm hoping that this is a, a better choice <laughs> for, for everybody's eyes. Let's see. I'm going to... do this. So it's this. I figure out how I'm going to attach it. I think what I might have to do. So, I mean, I think that's good, right? Is that better? It's not like the crazy bright green color. It's still busy, but maybe it makes a little bit more sense with everything. I'm hoping. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm just going to start here and then work my way around with Fabri-Tac. Let's see. I definitely want it to get into the crease so that it attaches to the crease. I'm hoping it doesn't soak through the, the fabric so much that we see it. If it does, then I don't know what I'm going to do. We may have to call our surgery a, a bust. I might lose my patient. Okay, I'm just going to lightly, lightly. It's a pretty thick, really, actually, it's a very nice thick fabric. So I'm fairly confident it's not going to come through too much, if at all. So far, so good. Okay. If, if this one doesn't sell this year, then I have a feeling it's going to be somebody's gift for the next. <laughs> They'll be like, gee, thanks. Make sure it's yeah, that's good. It's it's all attached where the bend happens. So that's what I was hoping for. And it's not seeping through, so I'm very excited about that. Some of the fabrics are so so thin, but this one's good. Okay. And then I actually came quite a bit farther out this time with the fabric, so we're right around. Woo. Right around in here, I think. Get it in the crease. Get it off my fingers. Okay. See how that's opening? I, yeah, it's good. It's all it's all attached in there. Okay. Okay, you guys. I think that that is all I have for right now. What I'm going to do here, I'm pretty sure I I tested it before I decided for sure to just glue this down. I think that I might do a bookmark and I'm going to put it through the hole that way. And then, well, it's going to be a problem here. 
Maybe I won't. I might just leave it. And then if I decide, I can do a strip of this same fabric right here and glue it down so that nobody will ever see that hole there. I'll see. I'll play with it a little bit and see what I can figure out. But I did think of using the hole somehow for a, a bookmark would be fun. Anyway, okay, again, my brain's not working. That's all I have for right now. I need to print out some things so I can make tags and journaling cards so that we can get busy and get this journal finished. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching. Please give me a thumbs up. And thank you again to all the new subscribers. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I will be talking to you soon. Thanks. Bye.